They're uh, they're really good and playing well. Uh, their size around the basket really bothered us, and um, they defended the heck out of us again. You know, we turn it over 17 times, and you can't absorb that. 15 offensive rebounds. Um, love how we got off to a good start. They kind of played really well to end the half, and we never could really get any kind of rhythm or confidence back in the second half. Um, you know, made a nice little run there, made it interesting at about four minutes. But um, it's disappointing because you got out of the gate well. You got off to a good start. But I think uh, turn the ball over like that, and you can't calm the paint down. We weren't going to stop them in the paint. They got a lot of big bodies. They always have. That program always have. But, you know, you got to – you got to take the edge off the paint stuff a little bit if you're going to have a chance. Took it off the other night. Well, why, was, why was the other night good? Yeah, night good? I don't know, Tom. That's what's disappointing. And I told our guys that. That's what's so disappointing. I thought, thought we were pretty good in the paint Monday, but we, we weren't tonight. And we played two big guys a lot of the night. You know, we rotated our, our big guys in there. So, you know, that's, that's disappointing when we're playing two big guys as much as we're playing. And, you know, Pat gets down there, and I don't know if he should be our leading rebounder all the time. You know, I, uh, I again, I love that he gets double-figure rebounds, but uh, we could use some more out of some of these other guys on the backboard. And uh, again, they have a lot of bodies they come at you with. How much is confidence? Yeah. This the last sure. No, I think you're really wondering. You're searching. You know, there's no question about it. Um, you know, you get to play again on Tuesday night, but you play another good, really good defensive team with bodies that block shots and play around in the paint. But um, um, there's there's no question. I mean, you, you, you're searching a little bit and wondering, and, you know, you need maybe somebody off the bench to give you a spark, somebody uh, or somebody in the starting lineup to really play well to kind of make you feel like you can get one. Um, but that's that's where we are. That's, that's who we are. I did a, a couple of them. Highlight real. Yeah. How much do you think that you know, causes one team to, to get going? Those maybe they're not. Yeah, I, I mean, I think uh, a couple of dunks they had in the first half, you know, kind of, um, you know, it does give them confidence and probably gets them going a little bit. I again, I thought they the end of the half they they really played great, and that's you know that that was tough to swallow because we had been playing so we've been playing pretty darn well. Um, but, um, uh, you know, they, they have guys that can – they have a bunch of guys that play over above the rim like that too. Um, you know, it's, it, I, I was hoping we could get off in the second half to a start like we got off in the game, and then, you know, we turn the ball over to start the half. And you're just kind of – almost sets the tone for the, for the half. Mike, what did North Carolina do in the second half to take Pat out of the game offensively? Yeah. I think they really did a good job of – contesting him they they denied us they played in the passing lanes a lot tonight and that's why I thought we had a lot of turnovers um, I think that's where they've gotten better since the beginning of the ACC season they're really defending um, and then when you get into the lane there's not a whole lot of room to finish with the bodies they have in there but I would say a couple different guys really contesting him um, we probably could have screened for him more off the ball we we, we did it we did it there about the seven-minute mark, and he got a few to get going. We didn't do it consistently enough throughout the game. Where Mike was forget? Yeah, you know, he practiced full yesterday. Um, we need him. I still think he's kind of probably feeling his way back in game competition. I don't know how many minutes. Uh, what do you play? Eleven. You know, uh, you know, he he's still kind of feeling his way. I think one of the things that we need to do over the next two days is get him back in you know, full game shape because we need him. You know, we need him. And uh, was probably out of sorts a little bit tonight, but probably expected given he's been out two weeks and practice one day. The transition defense, is that just a, a case of all the turnovers? It hurt us. Or? Yeah, it hurt us. I thought we were good the first 10 minutes of the game. We really tried to concentrate on it, but a lot of it was turnovers. When you turn the ball over at the at your own three-point line, boy, you're putting a lot of pressure on your on – your, uh, on your transition D, and, and they're really good in transition. They got a lot of easy ones. Uh, but again, I think it was us taking care of the ball. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's not so much us defensively, because for the most part, you know, they scored 73, they shot 40. You know, we, we, you know, our offensive efficiency and rhythm is just, you know, it's, it's been um, 
hard to overcome. We it's it, we don't get it consistently. We got we didn't get it in the first half at Syracuse. We got it in the second half. We got it to start the game, but we could, you know, we 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 really search for a rhythm offensively, <clears throat> and you know that's that's probably hurting us the most right now. Do you have early thoughts on Clemson, the team? So well, the, you know, you're playing a team that can really defend again. These guys really guard you, and so. You know, we're going to have to take care of the basketball. They got shot blockers back in the paint. They don't really score it a whole bunch, but they guard the heck out of you. So over the next two days, how can we help? How can I help us? How can we help ourselves offensively? Do we have to play small? You know, we, we did a little bit of everything tonight. We played small, we played big. You know, we, we've searched for that rhythm. And, and that's has been, that's hurt us more than anything the, uh, since the ACC season has started. Spot last week or two with UPJ's yeah. Rising. What, what has changed earlier in the year? Yeah, I think he's, you know, he's getting, uh, you know, just uh, more comfortable. Uh, I think the older guys have helped him get more confident. Um, I should have got him in the first half. You know, uh, we were kind of going good there with the group we had. That's my mistake. He should have been in the first half. I thought he did a heck of a job not playing in the first half to come back and then play in the second half and play effectively. We need him because he can he's a shot maker and can score. You know, the one thing last Saturday was, you know, he scored for us with some other guys. We had three and a half scorers, maybe four scorers on the card. We gotta we gotta put it in the hole a little bit more to to put, take some pressure off defending all the time. This season a lot of times you said a guy has to prove himself in the first half or to play a lot in the second half. Why did you put him in the second half? Because we, you know, we were, we, we needed, we were trying everything. We were trying everything, especially early in the half. And I, I made a mental note, even told my staff at halftime, you know, he should have been in the first half. So it wasn't, it's like, I'm getting him in there. I talked to him at halftime. I said, should have got you in, be ready. And he was great. You know, that's pretty good poise to come in in the second half and, and play well like that. Zach's mid-range shot, has he always kind of had that? He, he like has, yeah, that yeah, he does. And I think he has to take that more when it's, when it comes up, I think that's a good shot for him. And I think he's been better with his shot selection there. There's no question about it. But, um, um, you know, we, we want him to shoot that. I think that's something that will continue to develop in his game. You know, if, if, if he can knock down a shot for us, anybody can knock down a shot, we'll take right now. Frustrating, is it like a seven loss team? Them? Yeah, not today. I mean, I, obviously they've had great wins early. And, uh, then I'm sure you know they had some puzzling losses, but I think they're really in gear right now, and and I get started with their defense. You know they really are contesting and getting out. And then when, you know when you have the number of bodies on that front line, they kind of pound on you like a running football team, man. It kind of takes its toll as they rot rotate those guys through there. Not to have an answer for the turnovers, how frustrating is it? Yeah, that's really bothering. Because it's it's been game game. game. Yeah, it's bothering me because we've been so good with the ball here, and to see us kick that thing around like that is, you know, uh, you, you, you go back to the drawing board here this afternoon and, you know, what do we need to do offensively to simplify so we can take better care of the basketball? Because that, that's really, really been, uh, if there's one thing to point to, that, that's been the dagger for us. Thank you. See you Tuesday.